There are four system calls that we actually have to perform. Uh, let's see each of their prototype one by one, and then we'll dive deep, deeper into the code. Right? So first of all, we have this system call here, in open. Okay, what you see here, you, you see a char pointer path. Whenever you see a char pointer, that means you are dealing with a string. Okay, so if there's a string and you are, you, the path is written, it's, it clearly tells you that this, this must be the path of the file that you, that you need to read, right? Okay, there will be some flags here and more. We'll discuss it in the further slides. Okay, uh, one more important thing is this return type. What does it return? It returns integer. Now, if it returns integer, that means there must be some number which you will gather. So actually what it returns is some number and, and traditionally we just call it FD. Right? FD means file descriptor. So actually uh, it's a number that specifies which file is open. And we use it to point to that particular file later on in the book. So that, that's what it actually is. So this FD, this file descriptor, will be used later on in the other system calls. Okay, let's see the second one, close. So again, you see, uh, it. what does it take? What's the parameter? FD, that means you must have to give it a file descriptor that you have to tell it which file you want to close. Obviously, if, if imagine you have a program and you have opened um, three, four different files. So how will you tell it which file among all those four files, you want to close. So, so that will be identified with the file descriptor. So you give it the file descriptor. The third point is, the third system call is read. OK, now let's see its arguments. First of all, we have to tell from which file do we want to read. And how can we do that? Obviously, with the file descriptor. We'll tell it the file descriptor. Which file are we pointing to? And then second parameter is character pointer buff. Character pointer means again string. This is actually the buffer where you will, uh, when you will read the file, you will write your, whatever you have read, you will write it here. You will keep it actually, you will store it in this variable actually. So, so you have a file here, you have a text file, and you will make a variable, another variable. We are calling it buff here, maybe. So what will happen is this file has some, 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 some lines in it. You will read it, and then this this call, this read call, will actually read this file and then store whatever is written in it in this way. So that's it. And the third parameter is size. It actually tells how many bytes do we want to read. So okay, now this is a very interesting. This is actually a system call, not a function call. And when you are dealing with system call. You are very close to the operating system, to the kernel. You, you are you are close there. You're not using a function call, right? So when you are doing something, you are writing a low-level code, which is near to the to the hardware, to the operating system. When you are doing that, you definitely have to handle a little more stuff than usual. So you must never have seen the size thing, the bytes thing, in some high-level um, programming language, for example. I don't think you've seen it in C sharp, or not even in C++. Right? Obviously, I'm talking about function calls. You have not seen these things in the function call. Right now, you're talking about the system call. So when writing a system call, you have to handle this information too, that how many bytes are we going to read from this file, right? Next thing is the write system call. In the write system call, again, we are giving it a file descriptor that obviously, from which file, uh, sorry, to which file do we want to write? We have, we have a file here. It must be empty, maybe. And we want to write something in it. So it, this file must have a file descriptor. So we will tell the write system call which file are we pointing to and which file do we want to write. Again, th the second uh, parameter is buff. You must have some, some string which has something written in it. And we will just write from this string to this file. It will be written. And the last one is, the uh, last parameter is the size. And again, it's the same thing. But how many bytes do we want to write in this particular thing? So these were the four basic system calls. Let's dive deeper into the code and 
see actual real examples of them and then you'll understand it better.